Uh, so I'm Todd, and I, I go to First Assembly of God, uh, which now is called House of Prayer. Been there um, 23 years. So I started doing missions um, out of college. I had the calling uh, prior to college, and when there was natural disasters, I used to raise up teams of young adults like yourself, and we'd jump in whatever vehicle we could get. So whether it was a Volkswagen Bug or a beat-up pickup truck or back in the day station wagons, we'd throw tools in, whatever we could scrounge up, and we'd go to the natural disaster areas, and we'd do whatever we could to help. So we used to jack up houses, whatever damage, clearing rubble, this sort of stuff. So initially, missions started as uh, on the humanitarian side, going to help people in dramatic need. From there it escalated because as we're uh, building relationship with people, which is what we were doing, uh, prayer naturally just floated into the system. And from there it just uh, has grown and it's been a lifetime passion. So I've always done short-term missions. Um, most of the time I'm raising up teams and taking them places. Um, when I say most of the time, there are quite a number of trips that I do that are more than a month long at, at, at a whack. So can't really raise up a team of people because they have to work. So um, there are a lot of times, Pastor James calls me a soloist at times. Uh, uh, he's referred to that just because there's often times that I'll go um, individually and meet up with people, local pastors in the region and work with them. So uh, numbers of trips, I, I've lost count. Uh, I've worked uh, extensively in the underground church in China, Cambodia, uh, Argentina, the Amazon jungle, uh, and these are numerous times to these locations. Uh, Kenya, um, uh, Ghana, uh, most most recently uh, Angola. Um, yeah, uh, the list goes the list goes on extensively. First of all, you're bringing the passion that the Lord put in you because if the Lord didn't put that passion in you, you wouldn't be a missionary. You're bringing the passion that the Lord put in you to light. To that region and with that passion the people sense it even without the language that we have a language barrier so many places I go but they can sense passion so they'll they'll sense your passion and then they'll sense God's presence upon you and in that regard you're impacting that region and you may be the one person that the Lord's been preparing that individual that you're meeting with for months or years and you may bring that awareness of the presence of God that answers that person's need, that person had been praying for, and in desperation said, if you don't send someone, if you don't answer my prayer, I'm gonna walk away, or I'm gonna do something worse to myself. Oftentimes, when a missionary comes into a region, it's the answer to those people's prayers. So the Word of God yesterday, uh, the Spirit told me, like I am speaking to you, the Spirit spoke to me and said, impartation over incantation. So let me go into that. Yesterday morning, it gave me the understanding of the tongue language that we were all praying in the hotel. And those tongue languages were all a confluence, like a filtration uh, process over the atmosphere here. Everything demonic, everything dark, everything bewitching, everything cursed, everything not of God was being filtered out of the region by the tongue language that has been going forward, back up by the 21 day fast that was done by the team. That all imparted into this region, the impartation that overcomes incantation. So the intent of the enemy was totally squashed. So I shared with the team this morning, I am not surprised at all that yet last night went so smooth as compared to the first night because the enemy saw the power the first night and stood back last night. There's divine favor on, on their life. Divine favor on their life. And as we know, the oil flows from the head down through the beard onto the body. I've been doing mission trips, as I've said, virtually all my life. I'm 66 years old. I celebrated my birthday in Angola. My passion is in celebrating what God's doing with the people. How could you not come on a trip like this to celebrate what God is doing? through a divine impartation, through Matthias, Lydia, through their passion for bringing the things of God to the regions. And I say regions because it is an international uh, ministry. He will be going places. A, year, a couple years back, the Lord gave me a prophetic insight to Matthias that he is the flare 
that God is sending out globally. In other words, he is that bright light God is launching globally that people will look up, see that bright light, and wonder, Mateus is that bright light.